Greetings, my fellow Jamaicans. A great heritage, a great legacy. That is our theme for National Heritage Week, which culminates today on National Heroes Day. It is a theme that all of us as Jamaicans should internalize, appreciate, and bring to the forefront of our daily existence. The preservation and continuity of our rich and deeply rooted history, heritage, and culture spans generations, and our indomitable spirit is a part of the fabric that makes us who we are as a nation. We have a great heritage to promote and a great legacy to protect. We cannot afford to treat it lightly, knowing we have had significant global influence on every field, including music, culture, sports, medicine, and of course, our contribution to world history through our national heroes. Jamaica and Jamaicans can boast of our giants who stood tall against centuries of oppression. We produce heroes that impacted not just our great island nation, but the world. Queen Nanny, known for her bravery, resoluteness, and boldness. Sam Sharp, he was prepared to die on yonder gallows rather than spend his life enslaved. George William Gordon chose the struggles of the black masses rather than live a privileged life. For that, he paid the ultimate price. Paul Bogle marched from Stony Gut in St. Thomas to Spanish Town to demand audience with the colonial masters so he could plead the case of the oppressed farmers. Marcus Garvey had a vision not just for Jamaicans, but for people of African descent the world over. His words of wisdom ring true today. In one of his famous quotes, he said, if we as a people realize the greatness from which we came, we would be less likely to disrespect ourselves. Norman Manley formed one of our two main political parties and believed self-governance was important to independence. Sir Alexander Bustamante, considered the father of the nation, dedicated his life to Jamaica and was imprisoned in 1940 on charges of subversive activities. The widespread anti-colonial activism of the time finally resulted in Parliament granting Jamaicans universal adult suffrage in 1944. We must make a concerted national effort to always promote our proud heritage among our people, particularly our youth. They need to know, embrace, and treasure our Jamaican history and culture so that they can face the challenges of the future with confidence, optimism, and hope. The spirit of our heroes is within each and every one of us. That spirit of sacrifice, that sense of responsibility and duty towards others, that inner belief we are connected to a calling higher than ourselves. We praise and salute those who at times risk their lives to save ours in one way or another. Recently, the entire nation was riveted by the story of a young man who risked his own life by jumping into a gully to rescue a child who was being swept away by floodwaters. Sheer tenacity and complete faith in God kept him holding on, both for himself and for the child. We remember too the heroism of those young men who saved seven lives during the May 16th flood rains in Sunnyside, Linstead, St. Catherine. These modern day heroes remind us it is in our nature to reach out to others, to sacrifice for others. On this National Heroes Day, we salute them as we do our sportsmen and women, our musicians who through their work on the international scene shine a positive and bright light on Jamaica. Indeed, we also have everyday heroes in our military and police forces, our teachers, nurses, and countless others who see sacrifice as a duty and honor in service to our great nation. Let us resolve to be each other's keeper by giving a helping hand, a listening ear, a voice of reassurance to those in despair. Let us regain the determination to guide our young people who need to be steered in the right direction. Let us always remember to extend compassion to the elderly and the infirm. It must not be forgotten that they have contributed significantly to our nation and must never 
be allowed to fall by the wayside. Our national heroes have left us a great heritage and a great legacy on which to build. Let us preserve it for generations to come.